Today we're going to learn about the differences between living things and non-living things. Living things, like plants and animals, start small and get bigger over time. And they go through different stages as they grow. Just like how you started as a baby and now you're getting older. Plants can grow taller and animals can get bigger and learn new things as they grow. Non-living things like rocks and toys stay the same size and shape. They don't get bigger or change by themselves. You need to build or shape them if you want them to be different. Just like you need to eat food and drink water to stay healthy and grow, living things also need food and water. They use the food to get energy for all the activities they do, like running and playing. Non-living things don't eat because they don't need energy to live. They don't feel hungry or tired like living things do. For example, a toy car doesn't need a snack to keep going. Living things breathe in air to get a special gas called oxygen. Oxygen helps their bodies work properly and gives them the energy that they need. When you breathe, you're getting oxygen too. Unlike living things, non-living things don't need air to survive. They don't need oxygen to keep their bodies working because they don't have bodies like living creatures do. And when living things grow up, some of them can make babies. Animals have babies that look like them. And plants make seeds that grow into new plants. It's kind of like a family resemblance. Non-living things can't have babies or make more of themselves. Your bicycle, for example, can't make more bicycles. Only living things have babies. And living things can sense what's happening around them. If it's too hot, they might find shade to stay cool. And if they see danger, they can run away. And this helps them stay safe and healthy. Non-living things don't have feelings or senses, so they can't react to things around them. For example, a teddy bear won't jump off its shelf if you sneak up on it and try to scare it. Boo! Many living things can move on their own. Animals use their legs, wings, or fins to move around. And even plants can move a little, like when they turn toward the sun to get more sunlight. Non-living things can't move on their own. They need something else, like your hand or the wind, to move them. For example, like if you push a ball, well, it rolls because you made it move, right? Mm -hmm. And these are just some of the main differences between living and non-living things. I bet you can think of things that are a living thing and a non-living thing, and you could try it for yourself. In fact, try it now. What is a thing that is directly to your left? Is it living or non-living? Um, uh, um, uh, don't answer that. I don't want to know what you think I am. Non-living. Hmm, let's just stop now. Not